Okay guys, so I'm just going to do a quick scent picks video. This is one that's going to be kind of a little bit different because I still have my other melting basket going on. But I have some wax that's just kind of been sitting like in a pile. <laughs> and I'm trying to clean up my computer room today or office area, whatever you want to call it. And these were just sitting around. I'm like, I need to add these to my melting basket so I can get through them. Because they're just like, they have one piece or they've just kind of been sitting like they're kind of older. So I need to use this. Aunt Kathy's Ultimate Coffee. I just have a small cube of that. I've had this one out for a while to warm vanilla laundry and so much laundry from Front Porch. If you've watched some of my other videos, I don't feel like Front Porch lasts as long anymore. I did warm something from them the other day, though, that I absolutely adored. So, I don't know. The verdict's still out. I have this President Coin sample from Super Tarts that I've been meaning to throw in a warmer because it does smell really nice. I have two cubes of Sea Witch from Super Tarts. That is the Seaside, Mandarin, Northern Lights, and Mimosa. I feel like... Hmm, I feel like I'm not sure how I feel about this scent is what I feel like. I feel like I ordered like three clams of it. I think I de-stashed a few though. This is a Star Lord. This is shaving cream, cream soda, and lingonberry jam. I have to be careful with shaving cream scents, but this one is stronger on the, it's like more of like a berry scent. So hopefully that one will be okay. I have four cubes of that. I have been dying to try Lucky Lemons. I had a Bam Bar in it, or I don't I half Bams. I don't remember what the hell they were. I've had this for quite a while. It's Lucky Lemons. I always hear people rave about Lucky Lemons, about how much they love it. Oh, that's cute. I've got a hair stuck to it. I've just never gotten on board with Lucky Lemons. I don't know. It actually smells pretty good in the bag, though. It's not as lemony as I remember, so maybe I will like it. Need to give that one a try. Also, Lake Providence Lodge, I really want to melt her stuff because I find that it doesn't last that long. And I have two, Tree Line Trail and Balsam, Balsam Ridge. Even though these are more piney scents, like Christmas type scents, that's okay. I'm going to warm them anyway. Anyways, I just don't want them to go bad. I just never got through them at Christmas time. I need to get through my K's. It's getting on the older side. I've had this blue ribbon cookies sitting out for a while. Still smells pretty good though. Still smells like blue ribbon cookies, so that'll probably be done in the kitchen. Luna, I have two cubes left. This one actually surprised me. A lot of people raved about this one and I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but it's actually pretty good. I actually really do like Luna. Rocky Horror. I only have two cubes left of that. I can't remember if I reviewed that one yet or not. I've had this VCS Dracula forever. This is an amazing blend. I usually reserve it for Halloween. But I believe I've had this for like three Halloweens now. So <laughs> it's time for this bad boy to get used. I don't know why these were out, but they were sitting out and I needed to pick them up. So I have Haley's Heavenly Scents Blue Cotton Candy. I have Beach Cabana. What's I'm actually, hmm, I'm not, I'm not actually sure what that is. This one, I was going to send them to a friend and they had so much oil in them I didn't want to. I don't like her oily stuff. And then I have Chubba Dubba. So, got those three scent shots. I also have a big bag of Brandy's Sweet Treats, which this blend is amazing. I believe this is in memory of Brandy. I, I'm trying to remember her last name. I wasn't really, I think she passed away. Like, I didn't really know her that well because I wasn't in the wax community as long as some other people were that knew her better. But um, she passed away, I think, from... I can't remember if she was in, like, an accident or if she had cancer. <sighs> I 
I need to find out. Okay, so Fright Night Festival is um, from Rainbow Melt. I just have a small chunk of that. I might actually try this. That'll probably go in my daughter's bedroom because it's so small. And then I have this from Front Porch Pumpkin Buttercream Pastry and Eggnog. This actually smells pretty good. I think when I was going through my front porch and throwing some stuff away, I kept this one because it actually didn't have an undertone to it, so I kept that. And then this last one is a Vintage Chic Sense Oldie. This is from January 8th, 2015. <laughs> Cookie baking at mom's. And I just have one coin left in here. Um, and actually, I don't know, I'm not going to judge it on cold. It doesn't smell very strong. Like, I can kind of smell something going on, but I don't know what. Okay, so, yes, I, you know, I actually was almost tempted to order from VCS. I've been seeing some of my friends order from there, but I was like, no, rain it in, Kim, rain it in. Don't do it. <laughs> So I'm going to add that to my melting basket just because I need to finish some stuff up. But I thought I'd just do that for our scent picks. And I will have a warm review coming up because I have been warming steadily through the week. So my pile is starting to get bigger. I'll probably do it. I'll probably warm through the weekend and then do my melting video like on Monday or Tuesday. So, okay, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have some random like things sitting around that you need to empty, I would love to see those kind of videos. I love doing that because then you feel like you just like freed up a bunch of space. So yeah, I think I might actually warm this Lucky Lemons today. I've been dying to try Lucky Lemons. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.